Olympics, searchers have recovered the bodies of 33 victims. They're still looking for one more. And tonight, the owner of the boat is talking about the tragedy. The crew was located in a different part of the vessel, and the flames reached up to that part. It had already engulfed down below decks, and um, they had no choice but to evacuate the boat. The harrowing story of the tragedy unfolding aboard the Conception being told by the boat's owner, Glenn Fritzler. The captain, Jerry, initially staying on the boat after the flames erupted, radioing for help. The other crew, at, at, at a certain point when the flames had engulfed the boat and they were in the water, they said that they could see Jerry jump from the upper deck, a long jump, and that there was a trail of smoke following him. They thought he was on fire. Within minutes, they would have been consumed. So they did their best. Investigators say the crew attempted to rescue the 34 people trapped below decks. The crew that did jump down reported that they had uh, went to the double doors of the galley to try to get in uh, to get to the passengers, but it was engulfed in flames at that time. They did re-enter the vessel from the back of the boat after they swam around it, and um, they could not get to firefighting equipment because everything was engulfed. Searchers have recovered 33 bodies and continue to search the waters off Santa Cruz for the lone remaining victim. Today, NTSB investigators toured a vessel similar to the Conception, examining the galley and the tight stairway to the bunk room where the passengers and one crew member slept. And today, the boat's owner filed a lawsuit under a pre-Civil War maritime provision of law, hoping to ward off lawsuits. Some say the timing of the lawsuit is disrespectful to victims' families. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.